Hey, welcome to today's daily English vocabulary lesson. I am excited to teach you a brand new real English vocabulary word. Now to begin, I need you to take out your ebook. That's right. Daily English vocabulary book number two. This is where our lesson for today is coming from. So take out your ebook. If you have not gotten your copy yet, don't worry. All you have to do is hit the link in the description or go to www.studywithtiffany.com. Now, are you ready to learn a new vocabulary word? Well then, I'm teacher Tiffany. Let's jump right in. All right, so our word for today is number six, animosity. Yeah, I'm going to help you pronounce it properly, but let me start our timer, our three minute timer. It has begun now after me again, animosity. Good again, animosity. Excellent. Last time after me, animosity. Excellent. Now this word animosity means strong dislike strong dislike. And we usually use it when we are referring to another individual. So let me tell you this quick story about two women. These women were in their early twenties and they had been close friends for years. They would hang out together all the time. They would stay on the phone for hours. They would eat together. They spent a lot of time together, but there was one summer where one of the friends, this woman had to go to another state. So they were going to be separated for a summer. So she traveled to another state. Let's say her name was Barbara and her other friend, Samantha stayed in the location where they were originally. Now for this summer period, they would talk periodically on the phone, but they weren't around each other as often as they were before. Barbara was doing her new job for that summer. It was kind of like an internship. And during that summer, Barbara received a phone call. And this phone call was from another friend that also knew Barbara and Samantha. And this friend told Barbara that Samantha was actually talking about her behind her back. This shocked Barbara because her and Samantha were so close. But when Barbara approached Samantha, Samantha denied it. And this created an animosity in Barbara's heart for Samantha. She couldn't believe that this woman that was supposed to be her friend had talked about her and treated her so badly behind her back. This animosity came up because of that situation. Makes sense, right? All right. Now let's look at an example sentence. Here we go. My animosity for cliff is so great that I cannot stand to be around him. One more time after me, my animosity for cliff is so great that I cannot stand to be around him. It means this individual dislikes cliff so much. He or she does not even want to be around him. It's a very strong word. So again, after me animosity. Excellent. Now remember the lesson is not done. I need you to take out your ebook again and look at this section for the word animosity. Number six, there are other example sentences that I want you to go over so that you can practice and finally start speaking like a native English speaker using this word. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. I'm looking forward to speaking with you in the next one.